magic. <laughs> the magic of the vlog. Good morning, people. Uh, today is a uh, slightly gloomy, yet the sun is pulsing to get out, as are we. It's always sunny here. It's always sunny in my head, at least. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're driving north on PCH. It's about uh, 8.16 in the morning. Why, do you ask that we are making this a John? Yeah, where, where are we going? I thought you were taking me, buddy. Uh, I think you're behind the wheel. We are going north. Uh, we're actually going all the way to Santa Barbara. Uh, we don't get up there that often, but I decided that uh, there's a couple of shows happening. One is Woody's on the beach. Technically, they're not on the beach, but they're in the marina at Santa Barbara. So we're gonna bring you guys, and we're gonna show you guys a bunch of very awesome Woody's. The next show we're gonna go to is Vintage Trailers and Classic Cars, and that is at the Elks Lodge. It's called Groovin' at the Grove. Wow. So get your, your groove on, your move on. I don't know if you guys know this, but Ken's a really good dancer. Groovy, baby. Yeah, he didn't have a dance with me, though, but nope. that'll be another story. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we're doing, and we're driving the 2019 Hyundai Accent again. It's a great uh, little economy car. It gets incredible gas mileage. And very fast. And <laughs> no, it's not. No. But, uh, yeah, if, uh, if we were driving Ken's uh, 57 or his Porsche, we would be there already. Uh, as it stands now, we got another hour and 15 minutes to go. We'd be on our way back. <laughs> Santa Barbara at the Woody Show. Look at these babies. These are quite amazing. This is a really great venue. What do you think, Ken? You like it? It's awesome.
Rick, otherwise known as Ricardo, and we are at the... Um, uh, what's the official name of the Woody's the at the beach. Woody's at the beach. Uh, you, you aren't necessarily on the beach, but you can see it. At the beach. At the beach, yes. close enough. This culture is so extraordinary. Thank you. You know, everybody is so passionate about their Woody's because it's not a normal car. It was a tree. It, that's right, it was. <laughs> uh, you know, what does this do for you? What, you know, why are you into this? Well, you know, I was about 14 years old, and uh, a guy down the street that was a surfer said, Hey, I just got this car, man. I got this thing for 50 bucks. Let's go to the beach. So we threw the boards in. We went to the beach. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it rattled, and it creaked, and it made noise. And I went, Wow, this is great. <laughs> I got to get me one of those. So, you know, I had to wait a few years yeah. to make some money, and then I bought it. started in 29. It was Model A, was the first Woody, official Woody. Right. But it's actually, uh, you know, it's actually from the wooden horse-drawn wagons. Right. right. And then it, it progressed into the estate wagon. Yeah. And they were originally, I think they were originally called, they were originally called depot hacks because of train depots. Right. And hauling them the goods. Yeah. And then when it became sure. around, somewhere around, somewhere after World War II, Somewhere around there became train station, so they became a station wagon. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah, an interesting it's a great problem. history. Yeah. Uh, and, and pretty much every manufacturer had a woody version. Yes. Ford had his own forest and he milled his own wood. Wow. He was the only guy. If this car right here, a Chrysler, they would send it out to a woody maker, which used right. to be a wagon master. Yeah. So, so Chevrolet uh, jobbed out their woodies. Chrysler products jobbed out their woodies. But Ford was the only in-house. Ford was in-house. Yeah. That's why you see so many of them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Amazing. And what's the name of the club? Santa Barbara Woody Club. Right. And the, uh, what's the website for that? Uh, Santa Barbara Woody Club dot com. <laughs> Very <laughs> interesting. <State Board. laughs> Thank you, man. Thank this you. This is great. We have it. Uh, this is Mike. We're at the Woody Show here in Santa Barbara, and it's an extraordinary show. I mean, how many cars do you think we got so far? Uh, probably low 80s at this point. Yeah, pretty good. 82, 84. Now, you have one that's right behind us. Tell me a little bit about this car. Uh, this is a 1939 Ford Deluxe Woody. I have actually owned the car 54 years, wow. being the second owner. I drove this car as a senior in high school. <laughs> I'm aging myself now. But since 64, wow. I purchased this car. Wow, fantastic. I bet you've had quite an adventure in that thing. A lot of, wow. lot of uh, situations. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, this is going back about six years ago. I had a severe accident, mm -hmm. almost a head-on collision with this car. Right. It turned out to be a hit and run with a stolen vehicle that hit me. The driver ran, got away. However, my wife and I survived the accident. Yeah. You know, I think uh, the most rewarding was rebuilding this car back to the condition that I had it in. And it's basically better than it was before the so accident. So it was a strange sort of gift. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. There's a lot, a lot of things I could do to it uh, after that I couldn't do prior. Yeah. So. yeah, well, I'm glad you're still here. Thank you. And enjoying the woodies, man. Yes, very, very cool. much. Very cool, awesome. Your arm looks a little weird, buddy. Sorry. Oh. This is a fantastic build. Unbelievable. All modernized, but the matching trailer and how it's they, they kept the same period correct, but with modern. Unbelievable.
if you've been to Wheels and Waves, you've seen this gentleman, this is Squid, and, and you've got a lot of really interesting rides. Few. And, and we're at the, uh, the Santa Barbara show now, and there's a, um, there's a Woody back there. That happens to be yours. Yeah, I love this car. When we first saw it down in San Diego, I actually bought it from a baseball player. Mm. His name is Heath Bell. He was a relief pitcher for the Padres and the Marlins. He was so nice to my youngest son. Brought him in, showed him his baseball collection. Nice. Really just a nice guy. But when I saw the car, I fell in love with the wheels, the leather, and the smell of the leather, the engine, and the wood on the inside in the roof. Fantastic. In the ceiling. Just love this car. car that we're gonna look at and then we're heading off to this other show. Uh, you have an unusual Woody. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily a Woody, but it is very unique. <laughs> and you have a collection of these. I do. A, a vintage uh, Japanese cars? That's correct. So what's this one behind us? It's a 1964 Datsun NL320. And So why this? Uh, well, number one, why this car and then why at a, at a Woody show? I know the people that run the show, and uh, they offered to have me come by and show my truck. But you also have that the white one. What is that one? That's a 1960 Datsun Fair Lady. Yeah, Ugh, this guy's got the got the goods. Got three of them actually. How long have you had this one? I've had this for about 10 years. And have you done anything to it? Yeah, I put a turbo diesel in it. Okay, so it, it pumps a, a little speed. a little more horse than than original. Uh, it's still pretty tame. What, what was it about 34 horse when it first uh, came out? 40. And what's, what's it got now? About 100, 110 okay. maybe. Enough to have some fun. Yeah, basically yeah. just yeah. so it doesn't get in your way. Right, or go surfing. <laughs> yeah. Right, awesome. Really, really good turnout. Lots of great woodies, but even more spectacular people. Really interesting. Uh, I hope some of these guys come to Wheels and Waves. And then there's a Corvette. Uh, Maybe a wood shift knob? Standing <laughs> along the freeway, and it's kind of crazy right now. It, I can't believe how quiet it is. I mean, it's incredible. Look at this. <laughs> this is not working at all. <laughs> I think it is one of those distance yeah. things. Look, this guy's totally stopped right in the middle of the freeway. What an a-hole. Mm -hmm. 